Hello everybody, welcome back to Metro Last Light Redux, where I'm currently sneaking around a freaking camp full of communists who are trying to kill me. Also traitors. Well, not traitors. A traitor is here. Well, actually, no, technically two traitors are here. One pretend to be my friend, and another's from the rangers. So, yeah. What the crap was that? Something sounded like a book. I'll just go up here. Nothing to do with that. Another mask. Wish I could just take that. And a journal. When asked how it all started, I always tell that it began that day when we went to the botanical gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. For there's no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact, it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk to the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it that day. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds, and we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath, and he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business, or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it, going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one, my mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. How I wish I could recall her face. The way she looked at me, the way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time, and I did. Okay. Well then, shutting that power off. I wonder if this produces oxygen down here or something. Because I just don't understand why I started suffocating that one time when I tried to clear this room out. Makes no bloody sense. Oh right, this... Yeah, back with the SMG. Oh wait, there's a dead end. Okay, underground tunnels it is. I guess that's where it wants me to go. Oh joy. Down here. Uh, ooh, what's this, a weapon case? A useless weapon case, really? Alright. Well, then where the crap do I go? What is with the phone ringing sound? There's nothing to ring a ring. Everybody's dead. I murdered them all. What more do you want from me? Sorry, people. I am just completely lost on what to do. It would probably help if I just pulled out my uh, thingamajig. Alright. Compass points this way. So I guess up this ladder, perhaps? Looks like it. Alright. Nah, still makes no bloody sense. I'm so confused. Okay, it points this way, but how- Oh, I didn't notice that fence was broken. I'm just an idiot. Oh, I had to shut the fan off, that's why. Oh, 
joy. More people to murder. They're freaking everywhere. Where'd you put the goods? Wherever it's space left, top shelves mostly. Can you be more specific? Specific? Wherever I left the ladder, there's our goods. My ship's nearly over. Best uh, when he arrives. All right, all right. I'll go and check if everything's still there. Who's going to put you out of your misery? Put you out of your misery. Go to sleep. You go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. You are not going to sleep. You're doing the exact opposite of what I want you to do. The exact opposite indeed. Knock your helmet off. Go to sleep. Knocked your helmet off. Once again. Stop playing hard to get, boy. Take the bullet in your skull. Go to sleep like the rest of them. I wasted my ammo there. How about no? With a side order of no and an extra helping of no. I will feed you some bullets, though. Right in your teeth. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. And. Hey, 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 hey. Sleep. Sleep is good for you. You all need to sleep. Can I go down, please? Thank you. All right. One. Wait. Oh wait, that was the first note. I read the first note on accident. Uh... Okay. Oh, two then. Looks like the Red Alliance General Secretary Moskvin does not do much decision making. It seems that he himself is Corbett's hostage. The one eyed general holds him in a deadlock with one hand while using the other to move the pieces on his huge chessboard. The whole metro. But why does the secretary, supposedly capable of laying the general off, or even having him executed, tolerate his insolence and yield to his demands? What gives Corbett strength? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name right, but whatever. Knowledge, perhaps. I just have to catch up with Pavel, and he'll tell me everything. We'll see how he's going to continue singing his songs of equality and brotherhood of creating a just state for everyone. That traitor. Justice, equality, peace. Moskvin knows how to hit where it hurts. It might seem strange, but they are right. If we don't reach an agreement, don't stop fighting. We'll finish ourselves off much sooner than any mutants would. Communists, just like Nazis, use the bunker located by the Order as bait. The common folk swallow it hook, line, and sinker, and that's all. War prosperity, war prosperity has to be bought with a price of blood. For humanity to have a bright future, one more generation has to discard its present. Oh. Is that really necessary, though? I mean, how many times are you going to make the same mistake? You already wiped out an entire race of people who actually seem to be friendly now that we looked in that freaking flashback. And you couldn't even remember that they were friendly at one point. Oh, crap, baskets. I'm just going to go hide now. Because I hear an elevator a coming. Great. 
just fantastic. Now how am I gonna deal with this crap? There's one prick up there. I just have to blow his brains out. Somehow. Let me shut off that light. Can I shut up that? No. Did that kill him? What is this, freaking armor-piercing SMG? Not that I'm complaining. That's pretty cool, if that's the case. Let's see. Okay, a free key. A freaky key. It's so freaky. Okay, that's a. Pretty sure that's the gun I have, so. I'm not gonna grab it. There's no need to. But I will check down here for stuff. Oh, hi, mister. <laughs> I must have shot him through the eye slot or something. Which is this hilarious in itself, if that's the case, but I don't know how I did that accurate of a shot. Okay, I'm gonna go over here really quick. And loot this fool's body. Also, see, see if there's anything in here, like notes or whatever. Apparently not. Might as well reload. Luchy more. Luchy more, Luchy more. Luch door. What's this, Bane's prison? No, wait, that was a Spanish prison. You've got to be kidding me. Don't get spotted. Please don't let this be another room full of enemies. I fought more than enough. God dang it. Taking out the gunner. That'll save me some trouble. Shoot that out. Any more of these fools? Oh, I actually didn't set off an alarm this time. Good. He just kind of crumbled in the seat. Thing around here. Another loot box. What's in here for me? Money! That's always good. Okay. Oh, this could be bad. Yeah, kind of bad. I'm just gonna hide over here. Go down. You're gonna pay. You're both gonna pay. Fifty dollars. 
Oh crap. I'm just gonna reload real quick. Seriously, what kind of armor are you wearing? That's ridiculous. Hello, mister. I'm just gonna steal from your buddies really quick. And then I'm going to blow your brains out. Good night. Thankfully, you didn't somehow alert anybody. I think. Oh, what's up ahead over here? Saw another light moving, so I'm pretty sure it's more troops. I wonder if I can mount this. Nah, that'd be too generous, wouldn't it? Son of a muffin. This could be an issue, though. This is starting to look like monster territory. And why is there a wet helmet just sitting here? I'm just gonna leave that. Wait a second. He thought he saw a spider. some new mutant I'm gonna run into around here. That's gonna be very upsetting if that's the case. Son of a fluff cake. Crap. Just gonna shut off that light for now. And then immediately turn it on the second I spot a spider. Suddenly I hear a heartbeat that's not very comforting. Don't be go. Okay, this is really starting to turn into a horror scenario. That noise isn't helping. I'm down. Wait a minute. Artyom, is it you? Oh my god, really? I was able to send a report back to the order via my old acquaintance, Andrew the Blacksmith. Oh, it's that guy. At least Miller will know that I am alive. That I haven't completed the mission, but haven't resigned from it either. Okay then. Surprised that guy's still alive. That's one serious pick of yours, but I can help. I have friends, and they have friends who can. Why is your head dented? Tell me to your guys from the order. Oh, wait, that's hair. Never so, mind. Now you must return home to Polis. Well, there's no direct route. Everything's cordoned off here, but I believe the order has an outpost nearby, on the surface, the church in the marshes. Try that place. If we can get word to your people, they might meet you there. Do tell. As for me, I started life anew. Left with next to most, for heads completely subverted the place, looking for traitors and spies, sending people to camps, or just shooting them. <coughs> the Excuse me. War. People are fleeing from Kuznetsky most and their whole red line. Uh huh. Did you see the armored train the Reds are building? Well, we built something too, with the stuff the refugees are bringing. Here, take a look. Oh, this should be good. And this baby. The boys even gave her a name. You can't help but fall in love with her. Fancy. She did a swell job roaming refugees. But hell, you can't save everyone. So, take it. I like we this guy. He's too. cool. When you get there, find Woodpecker and tell him where you left that baby. Wait, wait, tab. All right, okay. I was just searching for a note. Figured there'd be a note around here. 
You won't break it. I get it, man. Just let me search the freaking area for a second. So pushy. All right. All right. Start the engine. And how do I do that, pray tell? E. Uh. Come on. Start it. I'm pressing buttons. Oh, space. We're still tinkering with her, so the controls aren't perfect. But the lights are first class. No need to fear the spider bugs around her. And there's a lot of those in the far tunnels. Can we get a cage over my head? You should go. It's a long way. So you shouldn't waste any time. All right. Hopefully this doesn't end up becoming a disaster for me. Wait, that looks like it'd be something. Oh, crap. It's one of these kind of things. Just gonna leave those lights on. Check here. Hopefully find something worth finding. And not get eaten by spiders. We'll see. Could do without that noise. They can polka again. Okay, got some bullets. Some shotgun shells. More money. And nothing else. Alright. Well, unfortunately, I guess now would be a good time to end the episode. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, possibly leave a donation, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a good night, everybody.